done this. Transform them into Feral Beast. 6-3 Spell Shield. That's really good. Wow, he's going to get a 6-3 Spell Shield really quickly. That's that's a combo, for sure. I guess that was bad. If we Arcane Focus into Counter Magic here, we're not going to be able to cast it now. Alright, Time Ripple. Um, I think I'm just going to ripple this to buy us some time here, hopefully. Oh, we had a tarantula already? Deal. And put three eggs in his deck for a reason. Sometimes they go right to the top. The fact that he hasn't killed the Fentio might mean that he can't. So I think I might activate Fentio and then just try and cheese him with the mill next turn. Okay, that gets him a 6-3. Which just came into play this turn, so I can't attack. So we got that going for us. Alright, put some spiders in his deck. Yeah, I'm just going to activate this. And there's only four tarantulas in his deck, but we might hit, like, two of them. If we hit the first one, great. We also got, uh, like, six spider spiderling eggs in his deck. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out here and see what we get. And then he's got his draw step, too. So we hit a tarantula egg... Which means we're probably going to mill him a whole bunch now. So this will eat... I'll kill his 1-1, one, one, sure. Oh! Hold on. Are you stuck? There you go. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. Play on your piano. He crawled under a table and got stuck. Poor kid. Well, sometimes you get really lucky and combo them super early. So for people that don't understand what's happening right now, there were tarantula eggs in our opponent's deck from our Fentio. And like I explained earlier, Azure Fate Sorceress inspires the things that come into play. So each of these tarantulas also mills our opponent 10 now. So, he just flipped over a bunch of cards out of his deck, which hits more Spiderlings and more Tarantulas, so we just have a bunch of power. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have Extinction in his deck. Oh, no, wait, he's just milled out. All right, and we got all the way through. We got all the way through his deck, so opponent has zero cards in library, so he's going to lose the game next turn. He or she is going to lose the game next turn. And they go to draw, but cannot. He should have con they should have conceded before they showed us what this was though. And he's letting us look at the entire deck. No extinctions, no removal of any sort. Doesn't look like there's kills even. Okay. So an opponent loses when they go to draw a card but cannot. So, I don't even know. What do we want? Rise Against, probably not great. Tribal Rabbit, yep. Rock Cast is probably fine for killing some of his smaller idiots. Counter Magic's probably medium. Yeah, it's like super, super minimal sideboarding. Yeah, you should probably be playing the one that creates battle hoppers, right? Oh, come here, tiny baby. See, Dad, I am huge. I am not tiny baby. Come here, huge baby. 
Combo in hand again. This hand's actually very good. We need, we need to draw some shards, but uh, we're on the draw. In Inquisition on two, or X Arc of the Egg, depending on what he does. So this card, this card's actually pretty sweet. It's a one-one. It's kind of like Gravecrawler esque. It it retunnels every time it dies, and then when it comes off of tunneling, it um. When it comes off of tunneling, it uh, gains a power, so it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and never actually dies. There you go. You wanted your bottle? This is whenever a troop enters play, right? Yeah. So this coming back in is going to trigger that. Resources, resources. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to get Sapphire with this. It doesn't let us cast the Inquisition, but it lets us tunnel Reese and play Exarch of the Egg. And I'm going to tunnel tunnel Reese first, because he doesn't have removal in his deck, so getting Reese out ASAP and just, like, making a bunch of obnoxious guys sounds really powerful. We just need to live to that point. Exarch of the Egg is actually really good, because it uh, can block his Spell Shield guy. This is just a 1-1 that draws a card when it comes into play. Uh, bricked off. Getting the Sapphire there also allows us to cast Arcane Focus if we draw it to dig for another shard. So, Well, we have a lot of combo in our hand. Hopefully we hit a Blood Shard next turn and have Fintio. At least x of the Egg gets the block now. Has Tunnler's R's removal? Sure. Donkey Bunny, yep. This is getting closer and closer. I'm, I am going to block this if he... Nah, maybe I'll just take the one. Yeah, I'm just going to take the one. That's fine. Instead of... Because every time it dies and it comes back in two turns, it comes back larger, so... Oh, look, there's the Arcane Focus. So, Blood Shard. Blood Shard. All right, it's basically blood shard. Play this, get blood, inquisition him. They're a little bit behind, but not too bad. We got Reese, we got Reese coming off here in a little bit. Scroll of Yazuko. When a troop enters your crypt, scroll of Yazuko is in play, and your hand is soul counter to its start of your turn. Create a blasphemous horror. I am just gonna take his command tower. So we got two more turns till Reese comes in. Command Tower lets his battle hoppers go wide, so we don't really care about the battle hops if they don't have a command tower. Runs, sure. So you can get a six three this turn by activating yeah, activating Concubunny. The flavor on that that it has to exhaust another shin hair. And concubine and the other shin hair screw. He must not realize this has lethal or he's just willing to trade. That's fine. Block. He's trade. So this is coming in next turn, uh, in two turns. We're playing Fentio on our next turn. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be greedy and arcane focus and try and hit an untap shard here. And we got it. Great. And we get to put a Fentio somewhere not in drawing next turn. Don't really need another one of him. Play this out. Uh, do not attack the computer, tiny baby. And it looks like changing that core to my modem, uh, knock on wood, 
has hopefully resolved my issue. I've been streaming for three hours today without a connection drop, so apologies for anyone that was watching over the weekend with the connection drops. Did some debugging last night and uh, pinpointed that it was probably a bad cable. It looks like it was. So this gives my guy minus two, minus two, I believe. Yeah, so I can still block one of his guys, but I can't kill them. Honestly, I might activate Fentio and then... No, I'll probably activate Fentio and then play the Sorceress out, try and get lucky. Worked last time, right? You're crazy, tiny BB. I hear you cackling. You cackling down there, you know you're getting into trouble. This is my youngest, Declan. He's about uh, he's about 10 months old. He's full of trouble, and he knows he's full of trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. What do we, how do we spell trouble, Declan? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to ship with Reese. Might as well. Oh, get in there. Get in there, Reese. Do it. Proceed to end of turn. Get a random robot with Reese. Oh, I could have played it before Reese surface. Yeah, that's super good, actually. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. We could have put and then Reese. Yeah, I, di I didn't even think of that line. That line did not even occur to me. Thank you for pointing that out. That's definitely going to come up again with this deck. It's really powerful. I was going to Azure inside of combat to try and be cute, but yeah, you're right. That's way better. No, we definitely should have activated this and played Azure in response to Reese. Because, like, it's possible the robot could have milled him, too. Activate this. I do still play MTG. We play... I am, uh, I am a, what you would call, professional Magic the Gathering player. I derive my primary source of income from Magic the Gathering. Alright, so, opponent is dead, we played another Azure Fate, and now all these spiders double mill. Look at this, look at this. So, opponent's getting milled out. All of the tarantulas are belong to us, they're going to eat all of his bunnies. Opponent has no more cards left in their li their library. And we are now 4-1 in this league. What does the scroll do again? It turns into a Blasphemous Horror, which is just a 6-6 six, six crush. So it got a bunch of counters from troops dying, but 6-6 six, six doesn't matter. He's out of cards. Yeah, I agree, Bemez Guest. Like, this deck is, it, it seems like, it's a better, I think it's a better control deck than the, because the Azure Cannon deck is just, like, it, its secondary function is an aggro deck. So, this deck, um, this deck is good because it's a control deck first as opposed to an aggro deck first. This is a control deck with a combo, whereas Azure Cannon is an aggro deck with a combo. So, we're now 4-1 in the gauntlet. So, we'll play 
Can you make can you make a living playing TCGs? Yep, yeah, I am. Um,